everyone. Today I just wanted to show you my new ultra portable laptop, the Asus or Asus E1000H. It's the 10 inch model and it has a hard drive in it. I've upgraded this one to 2 gigabytes of RAM from the one that it comes with and upgraded the hard drive from an 80 gigabyte to a 250 gigabyte hard drive. And uh, on YouTube I saw a bunch of people playing emulators on here like Super Nintendo games, Genesis games and, and that's pretty cool and that's actually one of the main reasons I got it but I wanted to take it one step further I wanted to make it that a lot more uh, productive more fun since you know the keyboard is pretty usable but it, playing games with the controller has always been the best and mobility is important so you don't want cords in the way so my idea was to use the uh, Wiimote with it and I already found out how to do it it took a while to figure it out the stock drivers for the Bluetooth on here, uh, Broadcom, they don't work. I tried Microsoft drivers, they don't work. So the final one was Blue Soil, I think is how you say it. And these drivers do work, but they won't install without first editing some of the files. So I'll have to show you guys how to do that, probably in a written tutorial that I'll post on the forums. Uh, so the first thing to do is pair the Wiimote by holding the 1 and 2 button and uh, connecting it. It only takes a second and it's done. And then the uh, program that interprets all the Wiimote signals is called GlovePie. So I'm going to open up GlovePie. So the first thing I'm going to show you is like a multimedia. I made up my own script to use this with WinApp. So, like when I'm at work, which is where I'm at right now, if I uh, want to play music and control it so like if the phone rings or if someone runs up front I can just leave in a second I can control it from the Wiimote so I'll just kind of give you a little hint uh, so here's how I got that set up WinApp is already up and going pretty much the button layout play and pause is my home key starts playing right away if you want to change tracks you can just click the Wiimote and it'll change tracks or you can use the left and right to manually change tracks the tilting it up will raise the volume tilting it down will lower the volume and it vibrates so you know you're doing that rewind by tilt rolling left fast forward by rolling right uh, and also you can turn on the uh, visualizations by pressing the A button And it's all right there. So the phone rings or something, just bam, pause it, answer the phone. It keeps you going. So that was the first thing. And I'd already done this before. I already have a video on that. But I did it with my old laptop. So I just wanted to show you that it works with the E as well. All right, so you guys saw me uh, with the WinApp script that I wrote. And, you know, that's pretty cool. It's convenient. I use it all the time, almost every night at work, so I can play music and not have it get in the way. But what no one else has done yet that I've seen is uh, use the Wiimote on the, the E and like say an emulator, which is what I was thinking I wanted to do before I even bought it. That was like the main thing I wanted to do. Uh, so I kind of pulled up everything here ahead of time to save a little bit of time on the video. Uh, this is ZSNES. It's the best Super Nintendo emulator I know of. Just to kind of show you what you can do. This is a script that I wrote on my own. It's another one of my scripts. I wrote this one specifically for ZSNES. It uses the nunchuck and the remote. The way I have the buttons laid out, the uh, joystick will be acting like the Super Nintendo D-pad, left, right, up, and down. Right where your finger is sitting on the back, the Z key, that's going to be the L button on the back of the remote. The B button is the R button. The D-pad over here acts like the four face buttons on the Super Nintendo controller. A, B, Y, X. Uh, the, the minus and the plus is select and start. And then with my extra buttons, I added extra stuff in. A, fast forwards, which is really convenient, especially when you want to skip stuff. The uh, C button, the top back button here, selects my save state. And then the one and two at the bottom is load and save. So I'm going to pull up, uh, let's say, Mario. And kind of show you how it works. So, let me see here. Start a game. We'll start 
file two. I haven't even played this yet, so I don't even know what the buttons are. But look, left and right, up and down. With the, this is the L button, the R button, and then let's see here. That would be throw an egg if I had it. Jump, tongue. So all the buttons are there. This is like I told you, fast forward. So you're waiting for an intro that you can't skip or whatever. You can fast forward and get through it quicker. Save state. Select my save state. And then uh, save, and then load. All there. I mean, you can play any game like this. It's pretty cool. You know, I got this thing because I wanted portability. It's something really small. I hate carrying around this huge G50V, and I can't really take it with me everywhere I go. But this, I take it to dinner. I take it to the doctor's office. I'm always got something to do. And uh, I don't want to carry around like a big Xbox controller with the cords getting in the way. I like wireless. So this is my favorite thing right here. I just use the Wiimote and uh, it works 100% perfectly. So thanks for tuning in guys.